Hello, my name is Nikolai, and I will try to show you how to make your first Elasticsearch query in under five minutes. Here I've got a little timer, which I will start now, and here we go. So what we'll start with is with downloading Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch download, but don't go this, don't, don't go here, go here. And I'm on Mac, so I will download the Mac OS version. In the meantime, I will also need a Kibana because Kibana is the easiest way to acquire Elasticsearch. Here instead, the first link is fine. And again, Mac version. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my terminal. I'm gonna create a special directory. Elasticsearch, I will name it Elasticsearch. I will go there. Then I will move the files that I just downloaded. The Elasticsearch, oh yes, yes, please. And I will ask, ask, the, I will ask this thing to extract the freaking file from, Elast, uh, from this archive. And the same for Kibana. Downloads, Kibana, move it here. And uh, tar extract the freaking file. Let's go. In the meantime, uh, we have got this thing extracted and we can start Elasticsearch first. We go in the directory and we do in Elasticsearch, start it. And that's it. This is of course, assuming that you've got a Java installed and uh, this should be the case. Okay, Kibana is also uh, has been extracted, so we change the directory. Oh no, I'm not able to do it. So we do it like this, and we run Elasticsearch Kibana. In the meantime, okay, Kibana cannot start because because probably. The Mac does not trust, does not trust us. And okay, allow new anyway, right? We did allow it. Okay, I'll try to run Kibana again. Open, we trust, we trust Elastic. And uh, okay, it takes a little while. So what's gonna happen is Elasticsearch is already being brought up. What they're seeing is, are the logs. You should not care about them too much. Uh, unless you're gonna have some problems. But we shouldn't have any problems now. Okay, Kibana, Kibana. Kibana doesn't seem yet to be up. And uh, we will just look at the logs. You see, it is the longest part to see Elasticsearch and Kibana to get up. Okay, uh, now I can see that it's it's written HTTP server running at this address. I will copy. Uh, I'll copy it and paste here uh, in my browser. Uh, so Kibana is up. And uh, the first thing that I would like to do is just to add some data. Let's remove this thing. Uh, let's go with sample data because it's easier. I like uh, flight data. I like planes. Adding data, adding data. Okay, it says that it has added the data. We can view the data. We actually don't care about this, but just check it out. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. We would like to go and access developer tools because we are developers. And uh, let's say that we don't have this here. Let's imagine. So by default, Kibana will uh, pop up with this thing. It does not look like data. Well, meaningful data. I don't know what it is. I honestly don't know. So I would like to understand, okay, Kibana, what do you have inside? Please show me your indices. I'm asking it. I want to get your indexes. And okay, this thing looks like what 
I needed. Now I will just modify the first query. Uh, this will effectively ask it to search within the index. And uh, okay, it looks like <laughs> the first very, very, very simple query we have just done. But uh, probably it's uh, not as uh, uh, not not as uh, useful just to see all the data. Um, let's try to maybe see if we can get it by without without Kibana. So we'll go back to the logs of Elasticsearch and um, I don't remember. It should be publish. Yeah. So uh, I'm looking for publish address. And uh, uh, this thing, abstract HTTP server transport. Well, you don't need to remember it, but um, basically Elasticsearch always st starts up on at this address. If you launch it this way, it basically start, uh, starts up on uh, on uh, localhost on uh, port 9200. And I can actually do the same thing as I showed you before, cut indexes. Indices, like this, yes. Um, and I can also do the same as I did in Kibana. So look, I don't need Kibana. Uh, it's not as pretty. Yeah, if I do format pretty, no, actually not format pretty. It is pretty equals true. And now I have something that is formatted more or less well. But anyway, Kibana is a little bit uh, fancier, let's say. But let's say let's say we want to query. We want to understand uh, something about our data. Um, okay, first thing I would like to know: how big is the collection? From the output, it looks like there are ten thousand. But this is actually not true because ten thousand is too nice of a um, a number. Let's use the count endpoint, and the count endpoint returns thirteen thousand. And 59. And basically, this means that in Elasticsearch 7, they introduced this feature that the search does not return the exact count, and you need to use the count. Okay. We know that there are 13,000. And but but what we what we can do with the data uh, is uh, like I know how to uh, read the mappings, uh, so I will do that. The mapping is uh, basically a declaration, what fields are and what types they are, so what we can do with the data. And uh, here I can see that everything is keyword, so I can do an exact search of almost anything. And there are booleans, floats, well, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, let's go here back to what can be interesting. Okay, origin country. Um, destination country, that's interesting. Okay, so let's see how many of them are actually uh, coming uh, from Germany. Okay, let's do query. Q means query. Origin, origin country. Uh, the, I think it means Germany, right? And it says hits 548. And this number is below 10,000, so we can trust it. It's precise. Then, um, okay, but uh, out of those, how many actually went to Australia? I think this, Austra this is Australia. And you see the cups and uh, uh, spaces. I do test country, AU. Okay, only 15 of them. That's interesting. So without even using Kibana, using just your address bar, we uh, were able to find out something about the data and even to do a simple end query. Um, yeah, that, that's, pretty, that's pretty nice. Um, let's go back to the, the full search, the full search results. And uh, let's see if we want something, something else. Uh, if there is, okay, flight time hour. Um, I suppose that it will be a float data type. So, okay, let's say I would like to know how many of these are under, let's say, four hours. None of them. Okay. 
8 11 it doesn't work because I probably does, do not know the ah uh, this is how it works they okay you have to do it the semicolon okay under eight hours they are too many okay under four hours they are eight thousand under two hours wow there are okay yes what did I expect there are there are flights under one hour well there shouldn't be flights under half an hour no no, no. I don't understand the people who are flying uh, under half an hour because you can take you can take the car and not expose yourself to the risks so to recap what we did we downloaded Elasticsearch Kibana from the official website we uh, unpacked them and uh, brought them up so basically I will kill uh, those two applications we created this folder uh, in our home which is Elasticsearch right um, here it is Elasticsearch we brought uh, we copy we copied the uh, archives here and we uh, extracted them uh, with the extract z freaking file command and uh, we went here and we just ran a bean elastic search and it brought the elastic search and the same we did for the kibana and that's basically it you you open kibana and you are able to do some basic queries we didn't go in the details with the um, json queries which are actually more uh, potent uh, than the address bar queries but uh, we also discovered that uh, one can do one can get by with, um, with simple and address bar queries so i think that's that would be it for today uh, please tell me what you think about this and if you want to know something else thank you